Welcome back to the channel guys. Today, what are we going to look at today? We've got a few pieces of jewellery that once belonged to Miss Taylor, so I'm going to showcase those to you today. A couple of wonderful little items um, to put a bit of bling in your day, so look out for them. Here they come. As most of us know, costume jewellery was the beginning of Elizabeth Taylor's lifelong love affair with jewels of all kinds. And this is an amazing 16 inch necklace. It is encrusted with over 140 rhinestones and it has a draped style motif and was made by Kramer of New York. It was originally sourced from personal collector Gordon Bayou and the necklace was then obtained for the collection from Rosalind Herman and Co of New York. And there's a picture there of Elizabeth wearing something very similar, if not the same. Now, I guess you can't have a, a collection of jewelry from a famous person without that collection having a brooch or two as part of the collection. And here is a wonderful 1940s Eisenberg original. Uh, which was made between 1935 and 1945 and it's got the label Eisenberg Ice. It's a lovely piece of jewellery and it was popular uh, a fashion accessory in the 1930s to wear Eisenberg uh, brooches and this one obviously here is um, a beautiful coloured made up of different colours, aqua, rubric and crystal stones. This vintage Eisenberg costume diamond brooch was a production piece worn by Elizabeth Taylor and then later gifted to uh, Matilda Cup and it came from the estate of Otto and Matilda Cup. Um, and uh, Dave W. Cup was the executor of the estate and said that his mother used to work or was very well known in Hollywood society circles. And he was friends with a lot of, and she was actually friends with a lot of Hollywood stars, uh, including Elizabeth Taylor. This elegant lime green Austrian crystal pin brooch was made in Australia and purchased for Elizabeth uh, during a tour of Melbourne, Australia in 1957 for then husband Mike Todd's film Around the World in 80 Days. It was sourced from Disneyland Parks and Resorts Florida and is now part of the wonderful Elizabeth Taylor Shades of Violet collection. Finally, we have this wonderful circular style brooch with small copper-like leaves highlighted with many little purple, blue and mauve Austrian crystals. The brooch was owned by Elizabeth in the 1960s and it became a part of the collection um, once it was purchased from Karina D. Ahu, a collector of movie star memorabilia. Here, Elizabeth Taylor uh, is wearing a brooch very similar, if not the same, as she leaves a London hotel in 1961 after a severe bout of pneumonia. This brooch was sourced from a place called the Delightfuls Antique and Collectibles in New York. I hope you enjoyed those items today. You couldn't have an Elizabeth Taylor collection without a little bit of sparkle. So there's just a couple of items that I have in my 30 year collection. Nothing enormous. I don't have the big $9 million, you know, Taylor Burton diamond ring, but a couple of little things that were hers in her journey uh, as, a, as a famous person in Hollywood. Great to see you again. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget guys, like and subscribe. If you've got uh, anything that you want to share with me, you want to ask me any questions about collecting, or maybe you collect, um, uh, you know, you're a collector of items from someone famous, drop me a line and um, I will respond to you, of course, uh, by reading the comments below. Thank you.